a local sheriff finds himself on the other side of the law. We'll tell you why his career could be in jeopardy, plus the latest on an explosion at a chemical compound plant that claimed the life of a woman, and Nebraska's governor in hot water over comments he made towards a reporter. For NTV News, I'm Christian Wayne, and these are the top stories of the week of October 15th. A local sheriff finds himself on the other side of the law. The Nebraska State Patrol says Valley County Sheriff Casey Halbert was arrested after a months-long investigation into insurance fraud. The Attorney General's office says Halbert owned a 2004 Chevy that was in an accident. Court records say he purchased full insurance coverage after the crash and then changed the dates, claiming the accident was in October of 2022 when it was in March of that year. The exact amount of money is not known, but it's somewhere between $1,500 and $5,000. We also learned an arrest and felony charge do not automatically disqualify Halbert from holding office. Mark Stevenson, the interim director of the Nebraska Law Enforcement Training Center, explained there are a couple of ways an officer can lose his certification. First, he said a citizen could complain to the executive director of the Crime Commission, and if the agency sees reasonable grounds, it could launch an investigation. Next, an officer who is fired or quits is locked in a state system. Stephenson said that is to prevent an officer from quitting and moving to a new job while under investigation. However, in this case, Halbert is an elected official and not a routine cop on patrol under the supervision of a higher-ranking officer. Finally, Stephenson said an arrest definitely puts an officer on their radar for further review. A felony automatically leads to decertification. While the process plays out, Halbert, who has been the Valley County Sheriff for 15 years, remains sheriff. He is scheduled to appear before a judge on October 25th. A Kozad woman accused of trying to set fire to a home while people were inside has been arrested. Dawson County court records say 50-year-old Brenda Lawrence is charged with two counts of attempted first-degree murder, two counts of second-degree assault, and first-degree arson. According to an arrest affidavit, police say Lawrence started three different fires at a Kozad home just before noon on Sunday, using a plumber's torch and an aerosol can as a flamethrower. The two people inside tried to stop her and were injured as a result. Court records say she was arraigned this week, where her bond was set at 10% of $5,000. An OSHA investigation is underway after an explosion at a chemical compound plant in Hall County claimed the life of a woman. The Nebraska State Fire Marshal Agency says 32-year-old employee Adriana Alvarez was killed in the explosion at Hornaday Plant. She leaves behind a small child and a spouse, and those people who knew her are devastated. So she was honestly a huge part of the community, and that was really shown yeah. to us through all of the shares, all of the love shown on the post. We really just wanted to help out our community by offering them a chance to be able to directly support the family. Katie Reyes with West Anna Boutique, which is fundraising for the family, says the outpouring of support Adriana Alvarez's family is seeing on social media speaks volumes about the type of person she was. As for the explosion, two others were hurt and released from the hospital the same day. The state fire marshal says the cause was found to be accidental and it happened during the mixing process of a primer compound. A State Department of Transportation worker is dead after a crash while working on Highway 34. The Nebraska State Patrol says at around 12.30 Tuesday afternoon, an SUV was heading west on the highway when it lost control, hitting an NDOT crew member near the Giltner Spur. They were working on a cleanup of corn mash spilling on the road when the accident occurred. Despite life-saving attempts, NSP says the man died at the scene. Governor Jim Pillen is facing backlash after comments he made about the nationality of a reporter whose story cited environmental concerns at farms owned by the governor. Flatwater Free Press reporter Yen Shi Shu wrote a story in September revealing that 16 of Pillen's farms recorded nitrate levels at least five times higher than what is considered safe to drink. Pillen was asked on a radio show days later about the story. He noted that Shu, quote, is from communist China. What more? Do you need to know? End quote. Flatwater Free Press Executive Director Matt Wynn criticized Pillen's comments in a column posted Tuesday. Shu said that she was shocked and saddened by the comments. 
Xu did grow up in China, but has lived in the U.S. since 2017 and graduated from the University of Missouri. And those were your top stories for the week. Follow NTV News on social media and be sure to visit our website, nebraska.tv. Reporting for NTV News, I'm Christian Wayne.